Hi, I'm Alan Slan and we're here at Robo's again and this one is only going to be a quick video. I'm putting some crash protection on because I've got some fun things planned for later on in the year so looking forward to that. But to do that we're going to have to change over the panels that I put on in a previous video so we can get the crash protection actually on the engine. So these panels are coming off purely because to get the crash protection on these panels they actually cover the the bolt that the uh, RNG plugs need to go into so they're coming off and the original side panels are going back on so I now have no use for these panels so I was thinking if you write in the comments if you're interested in actually receiving them I'll give them away I've got no use for them so if anybody wants them just give us a shout Okay, so the crash bung protector is on. According to the RNG packaging, we cannot go any more than 40 newton meters on this bolt. So we'll try and get it into position. You have to just sort of get it hand tight, get it to where you want it. And no more than 40 newton meters with a torque wrench, which is about there. So we'll now get the side panel on and then we'll move over to the other side. So quite a relatively straightforward job really yeah very very simple definitely prefer the others so there's the new side here are the original uh, side panel on which doesn't look as good <laughs> Robo is a big fan of the the new ones the pyramid plastic ones give you a bit more uh, fairing and I just think it makes it meaner from the front I think that's the, the biggest thing that I think it does for the bike. Clunk click. RNG don't you know? So it's amazing how much of a difference a panel makes to the overall look of the bike. Now, I'm, I'm liking the naked look again. Uh, I think I've missed it a little bit. But the other two people in the room prefer the pyramid plastic ones. The, I do like them, they are good, but I mean protection, I mean you can't, like mum always used to say, always use protection. So I've gone with RNG purely because, fantastic reputation for a start which helps and I've had them on other bikes and the other bike had taken a tumble, had a little slide down the road and the crash protection did its job perfectly. I thought why would we go somewhere else if you, you trust a product? Okay, one thing to note on this. Just make sure that you note you do not remove this internal spacer because the crash protector, although it doesn't actually say in there to remove it or anything, that's got to go in there to open out. Okay, because the original one has got this little system on it. So it's got to sit like that. Okay, so we're all done. Um, to be honest, really straightforward. Two things that you will need though, a heavy duty breaker bar 
and a torque wrench. And with these two bits of equipment, do it yourself, like it is that easy. So uh, yeah, thanks very much RNG. Like I said before, if you have the same coloured MT and you want these panels, drop a comment, just let me know, and uh, we'll pick somebody at random and they'll be yours. This is Ant on a Slant, signing off. See you next time. Can I say a thank you to my standing cameraman? You alright guys? <laughs>